Okay, and I eat some fucking food, and I'm chilling yeah. in the studio, and yeah, I'm with my dude, Ooh. and I'm about to <laughs> pop outside, but it's feeling kind of hot, and I... Yeah, what you think about it? Is that I trash? Like for the youth, one of the yeah, hottest bro. producers in the fucking country goes to the same school as me. So he that gives me motivation, motivation to work hard. What's good y'all, it's your boy Casey Notes. Today we're going to be making one of those popular trap type beats using stock plugins, like something you hear from like Old Take Heath or Southside. Let's just get right to it. So as for my first sound, the melody, you're going to create something very catchy and repetitive. You can go with a piano or a dreamy sound. I'm going with like a dreamy bell sound. So I'm going to go ahead here in the citrus, go to bell and probably go with this preset called dream bell. So let's get right to it. One tip I can give you for creating fire melodies for like these kinds of beats is switching between your half steps and your thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and use half steps and thirds, mix it up and create a melody. Let's go ahead and do that. So, this is the melody we came up with. Let's take a listen. Now, what I did do inside the effect of the plugin is turn down the FX send. It's just a reverb send that it's built into this preset, but I didn't want it this washy. So I just turned this down a bit. It's a delay reverb send. Just turn it down and this is how it sounds. And that's pretty much it. Now when it comes to this melody, a big part of it is how you affect it. So you wanna go ahead and load it to a mixer track. And here's where we start creating more of a unique sound. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a gross beat. Next thing I'm gonna add is just some chords underneath the main melody. So I'm gonna go into Citrus, find a preset and add some chords, probably from a pad or something real good. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm also going to turn down the reverb send for this pad as well. Let's go ahead. Now, one more thing to complete the melody is a counter. You want to keep the melodies for these beats pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and create a simple counter. I found a choir in Citrus. I'm going to go ahead and create a counter. Since the main melody is kind of like a run and it's pretty complex and repetitive, you don't want to make something repetitive and complex again to clash with the main melody. So now for your counter, I'm going to go ahead and use a choir just to throw a little extras a little bit around and bring the whole feel together. Let's go ahead and do that. Something as simple as this can make a huge difference. So now for the fun part. The drums. What we're gonna do is add an 808, add a snare, and then add our hi hats last. Why? Is because the hi hat has to carry a lot of the energy in this track, and want it to mesh well with the 808 and the snare. Those are kind of like the bass, and the hi hats are kind of like the icing on top. So let's go ahead and do that.
Now we can go ahead and make a complex bouncy hi-hat pattern because now we have a base around it and we will know what fits and feel right. Let's get right to it. So, as for the hi-hats, this is what we came up with. So remember, when you start out making your melody, use half steps and thirds, make it catchy, bouncy, make runs, start with your 808s and snares, then add your hi-hats, and then get everything to mesh together. I'm, what I'm gonna do now is just render out the melody and flip it just for some switch ups in between. Then I guess I'll just surprise you with the final beat. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's a lot of stuff coming. Crazy, that shit wavy.